In this problem, we need to find all six trig functions for theta if the point negative 3, negative 1 lies on the terminal side of theta in, when it's drawn in standard position. So the first thing we need to do is look at the point negative 3, negative 1. Well, that means that x equals negative 3 and y equals negative 1. So since both x and y are negative, we know our angle is in quadrant 3. So let's just sketch our angle. Here's our angle, theta. And I know that x equals negative 3, y equals negative 1. Make sure you label them correctly. And we have to find r in order to find all of the six trig functions. So remember that x squared plus y squared equals r squared, using the Pythagorean theorem. So negative 3 all squared plus negative 1 all squared equals r squared. So negative 3 all squared is positive 9. Negative 1 all squared is positive 1, because remember, a negative times a negative is a positive, equals r squared. So I know that r squared is equal to 10. Now we take the square root of both sides, but I only need to consider the positive square root, because remember, r is always positive. So now I know my value of r. And always make sure to see if the um, radical can simplify. The square root of 10 doesn't simplify because 10 is just 2 times 5. So we're going to leave r as just the square root of 10. So don't approximate it. Keep it as exact value. So now we're ready to find all six trig functions. So I'm going to start off with the, the major three, sine, cosine, and tangent. So the sine of theta, now you need to know the definitions in terms of x, y, and r. It's just y over r. So remember, y is negative 1, r is the square root of 10. So it's going to be negative 1 over the square root of 10. And in this problem, we didn't ask you to rationalize the denominator, so you can leave it as it is. Cosine of theta definition is x over r. Remember, x was negative 3, so it's going to be negative 3 over r, which is the square root of 10. And the last one of the major three, tangent of theta, is y over x. y was negative 1, x was negative 3, a negative divided by a negative is a positive, so the tangent of theta is 1 third. Double check your signs in quadrant 3. We know the tangent should be positive, the sine and the cosine should be negative. Things are looking good. So now all we have to do is find the three reciprocal functions. So remember, the reciprocal of the sine function is the cosecant of theta. Remember, is 1 over the sine of theta. And the nice thing is, it's already a fraction, the sine of theta. How do you take the reciprocal of this? You just flip it upside down. So I'm going to have the square root of 10 over negative 1. So it's just equal to negative the square root of 10. Then I need to find the secant of theta, which is 1 over the cosine of theta. So all I have to do is take the reciprocal of this. So it's the square root of 10 over negative 3. We never leave a negative in the denominator. So it's negative the square root of 10 over 3. And the last one is the cotangent of theta is 1 over the tangent of theta. So it is the reciprocal of 1 third. So it's 3 over 1, which equals 3. So now I've found all six trig functions for um, the angle theta where negative 3, negative 1 lies on the terminal side.